90 years ago today, the legendary Willem Ralph Dixie Dean set an English goal-scoring record which we can confidently state will never be broken. On May 5, 1928, Dean scored his 60th league goal of a remarkable season. The 90th anniversary of that milestone is a significant one, because it is likely to be the last major anniversary celebrated while Everton are resident at the stadium Dixie graced throughout his staggering career, Goodison Park, and the stage where he broke the record with a hat-trick against Arsenal. To commemorate the occasion, for the first time digitally we are republishing how we reported every one of Dixie's celebrated 60 goals. When August 27, 1927, Everton 4, Sheffield Wednesday 0, Dean scored in Everton's opening match of the season and the next date. This is how we reported the first good as in goal of the 1927-28 season. Dean took Irvine's well-timed pass on the run and slipped the ball well out of reach of Brown, too. September 3rd, Middlesbrough 4, Everton 2. A T was George Camsell who netted all the goals in his side's 4-2 win, and he stole the headlines when Everton visited Ayerson Park to play Barrow. But Dean still scored and this is how we recorded it. Tarrant and Hart collided and Hart rode jockey pattern for fully three yards. It was a piggyback seat, but the limit was reached when Hart, on the floor, headed the ball a foot away and this was the beginning of the equalizing goal, if it can be believed. The ball went towards the right, was transferred backwards and onwards and Dean, taking it in his stride, scored an easy goal. Everton footballer Dixie Dean, who set a record when he scored 60 league goals in the 1927-1928 season, pictured here at Goodison Park in April 1933. 3. September 5. Bolton Wanderers 1, Everton 1. Dean was again on the mark guiding the ball home from a square pass by Critchley, 4-5. September 10. Everton 5, Birmingham 2. Four, Dean scored his usual goal in the 58th minute, but most of the credit must go to Forsa who dribbled clear through the defense before offering Dean a simple scoring chance. Five, three minutes remained to play when Dean scored a brilliant goal following good work by Weldon. Six, September 14th, Everton 2 Bolton 2. A 6 p.m. kickoff the light was so bad the players turned straight round at halftime. Dean was offered the dummy by Finney and made the full back pay for his effort. He charged at Finney and caught him rather late in the impact. Dean hurt his leg in the charge but that did not prevent him sending the ball inside of the goalpost. Pim falling too late to smother it, 7, 8. September 17. Newcastle 2, Everton 2. Dean netted in the first minute. 7, the ball was turned to Dean, who at the second attempt, shot in with a very definite and practical result, 8, Dean challenged, put the ball to his outside right, Critchley, who trapped it in center. Dean headed with his customary accuracy, 9, 10. September 24. Everton 2, Huddersfield 2, 9. Ver wisely took the ball forward a little before finally transferring it to Dean, who headed it sideways and as the ball dropped he smashed in a terrific drive, 10. If there is a better header of a ball than William Dean, I would like to see him. No man could have scored a goal the like of which gave Everton the lead in the 52nd minute, but Dean. He and Goodall went up for Critchley's center at the same moment, but Dean's head was the one that counted. He didn't drive the ball, he simply helped it on its way, 11-12. October 1st, Tottenham 1, Everton 3. Dean's first was from an upward punt by O'Donnell and he veered to the left. 11, angled at a later point, he squeezed the ball against the crossbar. The miracle was that he could get the ball anywhere near the goal. 12. Critchley centered and Dean's headed goal left Britain. The goalkeeper bewildered as to what position he should take up. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. October 8. Everton 5, Man United 2. A piece of Dean history, the first occasion he scored five times in a major match. His goals came at the first, eighth, 30th, 40th and 65th minutes. 13. Everton scored from their first opening. Silcock was caught upfield, allowing Critchley to place the ball for Dean to score in magnificent fashion. 14. Critchley beat Silco KC and placed the ball well for Dean to place it in the net. 15. Silcock had joined in the attach again when Dean completed his hat trick, which was warmly applauded by the crowd. 16. Dean raced away from midfield. Richardson turned his shot against the post, and although the Manchester players appealed, the referee, who was in the other half of the field, allowed the goal to stand. 17. Dean found the defense in a weak position and had little difficulty scoring his fifth goal. Dean might have had more, Richardson producing three brilliant saves in the last 25 minutes, one of them one-handed. Afterwards, Richardson said, Dean is the best forward I have met. There was no fluke about his goals. Two or three of them passed me like cannonballs. His placing was the inch.
Back on the good isn't turf he graced the immortal Dixie Dean. Photo by Colin Lane, Parson, Jackson played Dean out of the good in Derby on October 15, Troop was Everton scorer and a 1-1 draw. A week later Everton scored a 7-0 victory over West Ham, amazingly without Dean. He was away leading England in a 2-0 defeat by Northern Ireland, something which did not cause much excitement as England had not won in Belfast since 1908. 18, 19, 20. Over 29. Portsmouth 1, Everton 3. The Blues went top of Division 1 for the first time that season, Dean scoring all three. For the first, Dean picked up the ball on halfway. 18, away he went, veering to the right with his big strides and ignoring a bump in the back by a charging defender and, ignoring also the outcome of the goalkeeper, slipped the ball into the left-hand side of the net, 19, Dean's. Second came when Critchley crossed and McPhail made quite a good save from Dean's header, but he had no chance with the rebound shot from three yards, 20, five minutes later, Dean completed his hat-trick after hard work by Weldon, 21, 22, 23. November 5, Everton 7, Leicester 1. 3 for Dean, his first due to Troop's unselfishness, 21, Troop was fully entitled to try his luck, for although his angle was somewhat acute, he could have scored. But he put the ball across the goal mouth and Dean, moving up a little, put his head to the ball and it was in the net while McLaren had been covering, Troop, 22, he received a perfect pass from Critchley, moved between the backs and although McLaren narrowed his angle he could not deny Dean. Dean's third was the best goal of the three, 23, Dean trapped O'Donnell's big clearance without a moment's hesitation and crashed the ball into the net, 24, 25. November 12, Derby 0, Everton 3, 24, in three minutes Dean had scored. It was begun by Kelly, who made a useful push without hesitation and Dean collared it and blazed away, there is no other word for it, 25, Weldon's persistency took him to inside right, where he refused to give in and rounding a half back he pushed the ball to the usual spot where Dean scored with ease, 26, 27. November 26, Barry 2 Everton 3, a benefit match for the home goalkeeper, Richardson, which attracted 26,000 fans, 26, Dean was confronted by a full back tricked him in the most beautiful manner by digging the ball forward, racing round the back and scoring. 27, Forsaw headed forward and Dean received the ball, and with a two-step worthy of a dancing master he beat both backs in the space of two yards and shot in with venom, the ball striking the right upright to score a magnificent goal, 28, 29, 30. December 10, Aston Villa 2, Everton 3. 28, Villa thought Dean was offside when he scored his first, and the center forward himself hesitated before going for the ball and being challenged by goalkeeper Jackson. The keeper missed his pickup, allowing Dean to virtually kick the ball out of his hands into an empty net. 29, Dean's second came when he fed Critchley and the winger's center appeared too close to goal. However, this was not Jackson's gala day. The goalkeeper merely touched the ball without getting it away, and Dean ran up and scored with his 30. The Everton centre forward completed his hat trick in the 85th minute with a novel goal. A high lobbing ball was headed back by Dean, and, remarkable to relate, the ball entered the empty net, Jackson having gone forward. A postcard that is believed to provide the earliest known image of Dixie Dean in an Everton shirt, pictured in a formal team group with his Everton teammates' estimates 600 pounds to 800 pounds 31. December 24, Arsenal 3, Everton 2. Many of the Everton players felt sick on the morning of the match but by lunchtime they had recovered sufficiently to play. Arsenal led 2-0 at halftime, but Dean managed to get the goal that leveled the scores at 2-2. 31, the ball went out to the right and when it was middled, Dean, as usual, had three men marking him. He was seen on the ground, yet able to rise and score in the extreme left-hand corner, 32-33. December 26, Everton 2, Cardiff 1, 32, and 33, Kelly made Dean's first goal possible and Critchley helped him to his 33rd goal of the season. This Mark man, who has suffered a collision that threatened to throw the link out of gear, came back to score two goals at the 7th and 80th minutes. December 27, Cardiff 2, Everton 0, Dean captained this side, 34, 35. December 31st, Sheffield Wednesday 1, Everton 2, 34, and 35. Critchley put in one of his fine centers, the like of which has provided Dean with many goals. It dropped close to goal. The center forward just got there first and headed the ball into the net via the underside of the crossbar. His second was a similar goal. Troop lobbed the ball into the goal mouth and Dean again beat Brown to it 36-37. January 2, 1928. Blackburn 4, Everton 2. Everton started 1928 on a losing note, despite Blackburn missing two penalties. 
36, Dean converted wholesome work by his right wing. Troop aiding unselfishly to give the center forward his 36th goal of the season, 37, De Juan aided by Hart, headed another goal and this opened out the game afresh, 38-39. January 7, Everton 3, Middlesbrough 1, 38, the importance of the goal was more than the beauty of it. It came from a free kick. And Dean once more back headed the ball to goal when he was close on Matheson's charge. Matheson patted the ball down, but seemed to lose sight of it on the goal line and Dean got round his man and scored with ease. 39, Dean, working down the right, used his left foot to score a remarkable goal. January 21st, Birmingham 2, Everton 2. No goal for Dean. 40 February 4th, Huddersfield Town 4 Everton 1. A record 51,284 fans watched Dean at a consolation as Everton lost to their closest challengers. 40, Critchley took a corner and Dean headed in with seeming ease. February 11th, Everton 2, Tottenham 5. A shock for the Blues. Their title hopes received a setback when Tottenham came to Goodison Park and won 5-2. Dean failed to score. Terrible conditions were not all Southport had to put up with away to mighty Everton in 1931 as they had hitman Dixie Dean in their ranks 41, 42, 43. February 25th, Liverpool 3, Everton 3. The football echo headlines read, the best derby ever, how Liverpool took the lead but fell behind 3-1 and then made a great recovery, hat-trick performance by Dean. 41, Dean scored and Lucas, the Liverpool right back, in the process, was hurt and had to leave the field. Dean's goal was a spectacular affair and had its beginning in a trapping movement by Weldon who pushed the ball forward and Dean ran, beat Lucas and although Riley left his goal Dean made no mistake. To make a perfect sample of a goal, 42, Weldon tried to make a shot and the ball turned awkwardly off a fullback, the result being that when Riley went out to reach the spinning ball he never got a proper grip of it and Dean scored with a certain amount of ease. 43, Critchley, very cleverly and unselfishly, centered Dean, sizing up Riley's position, turned the ball with his head and with the utmost deliberation with regard to placing, shot into the right-hand corner. This was Dean's 98th goal in 100 first-class appearances. During the game there were 45 cases of fainting 15 were ladies. Four games in March failed to provide Everton with a victory and at one stage Huddersfield gained a four-point advantage at the top of the table, March 3rd, West Ham 0, Everton 0. March 10th Everton 0, Portsmouth 0. March 14th, Manchester United 1 Everton 0. March 17th, Leicester City 1 Everton 0. 44, 45. March 24th, Derby 2, Everton 2. The fifth game of the month earned Dean a record, if not a win for the Blues. Dean broke the first division scoring record, which had previously belonged to Ted Harper of Blackburn and Sheffield Wednesday with 43 goals. 44. Dean got the chance through Hart, going in on the band of Miz kickers and screwing the ball to him so that he could place it to the left of Wilkes. 45. Dean scored a second after being blocked out at the first time of asking. By now, Dean's tally of goals in all matched stood at 80. It read, League 45, FA Cup 3, Interleague Game 6, Blackpool, Hospital Cup, 5, English FA Continental Tour 9, Fleetwood Disaster Match 4, FA Trial Matches 8. Everton footballer Dixie Dean, who set a record when he scored 60 league goals in the 1927-1928 season, pictured here during a training session at Goodison Park in April 1933. 46-47. April 6, Everton 4, Blackburn 1. Everton were at their best, showing form that had been missing since the turn of the year. They were then one point adrift of Huddersfield, who had three games in hand. 46 Troop made a corner, Critchley took it, for help did along in Dean, near and made no error about a gift. 47 Critchley made it possible by a sinuous run that took him to center forward. He was tripped, but the referee wisely refrained from penalizing the innocent side. The ball went out to Troop whose center was headed down securely by the best header in the game, 48. April 7, Everton won Barry 1, Dean was on the mark again. 48 A light came over the Everton proceedings when Critchley, running forward and centering, made a chance for Dean to guide the ball into the net with his ankle. Richardson had no chance, 49, 50. April 14, Sheffield United 1, Everton 3. Two more for Dean during a prolific month of April. 49, Kelly took a free kick for a foul and lobbed the ball close into goal. Dean jumped up high and headed it into the net, 50, Dean gathered a sentry from Troop and although the odds were against him, he pressed his way through and, when Anderson came out of goal, Dean swept round and placed the ball into the net, 51. April 18, Everton 3, Newcastle 0. 
51, from a free kick Cresswell, with a simple swing of the leg, lobbed the ball to the middle with the same accuracy that he imparts into a golf ball. That's how Dean came by his 51st goal, a header, 52, 53. April 21st, Everton 3 Aston Villa 2. 52, Dean got a lucky goal through only handling a soft short badly. Dean had only to follow up and put the ball into an empty net, 53, Dean looked offside and he went right through on his own and after drawing out only he scored another goal with nothing to stop his show. The 29th of April, 1933, Everton Football Club captain Dixie Dean, 1907-1980, and his team leave Wembley Stadium with the FA Cup trophy after their 3-0 victory over Manchester City in the FA Cup final. Photo by H. F. Avis, Topical Press Agency, Getty Images, 54, 55, 56, 57. April 28th, Burnley 3, Everton 5. Four goals set up Dean for his record tally. 54, Everton have often scored in the first minutes so it was no surprising to find them taking a goal lead at the 30th second. It was a perfectly made goal and three players had a hand in the making, Martin, who was lying well back, slipped the ball through the middle to Weldon who moved forward a stage before he cleverly side-tapped the ball to Dean. McLuggage and Waterfield immediately closed up in the center forward who, forcing his way between then, drew down from his lair and then shot into the corner of the net. Burnley scored twice, but Everton equalized following a tussle in their own goal mouth. 55 Troop, who had gone back to lend a hand, swept the ball upfield and Dean went after it like a flash, passing Waterfield. Down rushed out of goal but before he could capture the ball, Dean chested it away from him and then shot into the empty net. It was a wonderful goal. 56, Hart, Cresswell, Martin, Critchley and Weldon passed and passed again, with the Burnley defenders rushing here and there in an endeavor to capture the elusive ball. But before they could do so, Dean had it in the net, Martin supplying the great last touch with his head, 57, Critchley smashed the ball into the center and Dean went after it like a whip at end, getting the better of Waterfield, drove a tremendous ball into the Burnley net. That win at Burnley clinched the title for Everton, but Dean needed three goals from the final match against Arsenal at Goodison Park to establish a Football League scoring record. Everton captain Dixie Dean leads his team out at Arsenal, image, Barker, Getty Images, 58, 59 and the record 60. May 5th Everton 3, Arsenal 3. 58, the first point was from a corner taken by Critchley Martin turned the ball onto Dean, who headed it to the extreme left-hand corner, 59, Dean was running through when the long-legged butler crossed him. It was an accidental collision, to the referee it was a trip, and the consequence was that Dean was able to rise from the ground and take the penalty kick successfully, 60, with 9 minutes to go a Martin shot was punched over the bar by Patterson and this was the beginning of Dean's record goal. Troop took the corner kick and out of a ruck of probably 14 players, Dean with unerring accuracy, noted the ball to the extreme right-hand side of the goal. There has never been such a joyful shout. A record which was created 90 years ago today, and which will almost certainly never be